Good morning. Now it's time for Toker Talk Radio, the voice of the marijuana nation. What are you people? On dope? Where you can tell. I am here. Uh, frequently. Or you can talk. I experimented with marijuana and didn't inhale. Or you can talk and talk. Ten federal criminal penalties for possession of up to one ounce of marijuana. While we talk about toke on Toker Talk Radio. So by the way, when it comes to pot, you know, if you're 40 years old, you live in a log cabin in Oregon, you got 12 giant pot plants in your backyard, have a ball. Live from beautiful Poplin, Oregon at Rolla J Studios. Just Plus your calls live at 971-533-7111. They're walking on their pants with their cap on backwards, listening to the end of a man, the Snoopy Snoopy Poop Dog. What's to keep somebody from getting all potted up on weed and then getting behind the wheel? Gateway theory doesn't work. It's a reality. Holland, is it real? Don't tease me. We're locking up people that take a couple of puffs of marijuana, and, and the, the next thing you know, they got 10 years. And now, here's your host, the guru of Gonza Graphics, the sultan of Sativa Statistics, and the worst nightmare of a reefer mad prohibitionist. A polite, perspicacious, productive pothead with a propensity for PowerPoint. Radical, Russ Belleville. I discovered that it didn't make any difference whether you smoked reefer in the white classmate's sparkling new van, or in the dorm room with some brother you'd met down at the gym, or on the beach with a couple of Hawaiian kids who had dropped out of school and now spent most of their time looking for an excuse to brawl. That's right, Mr. President. It really doesn't make a difference because marijuana is the great social equalizer. Everybody likes it. Indeed. Hey, uh, before we get started, i got to give you one quick, quick little bit of video from Minnesota, one of my favorite things ever. I listen to you every single day. You are my fucking hero. Damn it. I just just loved that. Guy comes walking up, you are my fucking hero, dude. Yeah, buddy. (laughs) Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Good times. Appreciate all our fans all around the country and all around the world who are tuning into 420 Radio and helping us become the 24-hour marijuana legalization network. Uh, If you can help spread the word, just please do so. If you'd like some cards or any sort of uh, materials to pass out for folks, we are going to uh, be building a street team page on 420radio.org where you can download and print some of these things off and spread the word about 420 Radio. Also, uh, on today's show, before I forget, we got to get to uh, the 420 Radio Fan Friday trivia contest that we do, usually on Fridays, but uh, we uh, missed it last Friday. I was on the road. So here we go. It's time for the 420 Radio High Times Trivia Magazine Giveaway. Thank you, Don Pardo. <laughs> so we're giving away on that. <laughs> this issue, the October 1976 issue of High Times Magazine. It's the jazz issue. And you can see the, the you know, Louis Armstrong on there, a little Billie Holiday and such. The jazz issue. And in honor of the jazz issue, I decided that we were going to have a jazz-related question. And so our question this uh, week was... Who was the jazz clarinetist in the early 20th century Harlem whose name became synonymous with marijuana? And we got a few people that all turned in the correct answers. And of them, we shall randomly choose one to be our winner. Uh, Random. All right. The answer was Milton Mesro. That's right, a.k.a. Mez Mezro. And if you listen to a lot of the early jazz songs, uh, uh, you'll hear them talk about a mighty Mez. Mm-hmm. You're smoking a Mez. Get me a Mez. Uh-huh. In fact, the one lyric in If You're a Viper, a mighty Mez, but not, not too, too strong. strong. Yeah. <laughs> well, Milton Mezro, in addition to being a clarinetist, was well known for being a marijuana dealer. <laughs> and he supplied Louis Armstrong and a lot of the other jazz players of the day back in Harlem. And so his name became synonymous with marijuana cigarettes. So mighty Mez. mez. The Mighty Mez, that's right. And so our winner today is our good friend Jam Band fan out there in the hey, chat room. April, right. a.k.a. Jam Band fan, you are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations well to deserved. you. All right, so we have to have another uh, contest question 
So April, if you will send an email to me with your mailing address, we will make sure to get that out to you just as soon as we can. We've also still need to get out the magazines for Gothic Prophet and Canny. Uh, I was waiting for more labels. And, and we just got them in over the weekend. Yeah, so. the labels came in over the weekend. So we should be able to get those to you uh, coming up. Now, for our next question, can, our next question. Can I, can I point something out that I just think is hilarious sure. having to do with you know the, the whole stoner culture? On the back, we've got an ad for easy, wide rolling papers. Now, to, for the comparison, what I think is funny is they have Chips Ahoy cookies on there. <laughs> they're like, look, they're as wide as a Chips Ahoy cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Very, you, you know, got to know your audience, right? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beautiful. so we have our next, next Fan question. Friday trivia, which I should have done last Friday, but we're doing it now. Uh, and you can win this issue, the November 76 issue of High Times Magazine, if you just send an email in with the correct answer to russ at radicalrust.com. That's russ at radicalrust.com. And uh, the question for this week is... The question for this week is, name the two reform groups that merged to form the Drug Policy Alliance. Ooh. Name the two reformed group, reform groups that merged to form the Drug Policy Alliance. And this Friday, March 7th, we will uh, select from all the correct answers a random winner and mail you the High Times Magazine from November of 1976. Yay. There's some interesting stuff in all, all of these High Times magazines. Uh, it's just a peek into the old culture, and it's great. Yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. Got to check them out. All right, when we come back, we're going to bring you our video coverage, highlights from the 420 Radio crew meeting the Magical Butter crew and taking the limo to the Cannabis Cafe. Stick around. You're listening to the Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. Russ Belleville Show is blogging and podcasting daily at RadicalRuss.com. I'm Radical Russ Belleville, and I want to thank you for listening to 420 Radio. We couldn't survive without you and our sponsors, and I'd like you to check out one of our prime sponsors, the National Cannabis Coalition. I've been working with NCC since June of 2012, and I'm proud to be part of the team they have assembled. National Cannabis Coalition is building the partnerships with reformers, lawmakers, and industry we need to be successful. Visit the National Cannabis Coalition website at nationalcannabiscoalition.com or the easier-to-remember ncc420.com. That's where you'll get the exclusive first look at my radical rants, as well as informative articles from the nation's top cannabis pundits. Visit ncc420.com today, and if you have your phone handy, text Russ to 42420 to support NCC and 420 Radio. It's a free text message that helps us help you end adult marijuana prohibition. Learn more at ncc420.com, and thanks for supporting independent marijuana legalization public radio. 420 Radio is 24-hour marijuana legalization radio. The law offices of Omar Figueroa would like to remind you to stand up for your rights. Please do not give up your precious liberties. There's nothing wrong with standing up for our constitutional rights, and in fact, it's the best way to honor the Constitution that recognizes our natural rights. Treat law enforcement with respect and respect the Constitution by standing up for your rights. If you are detained or arrested, stand up for your rights by repeating, I respectfully invoke all of my legal and constitutional rights. I do not consent to any search and seizure. I want to remain silent, and I want to speak with my attorney, Omar Figueroa. Omar Figueroa has more than a decade of experience in federal and California courts and graduated from Yale University, Stanford Law School, and Trial Lawyers College. Please contact the law offices of Omar Figueroa at 415-489-0420 or 707-829-0215 or on the web at omarfigueroa.com. 
All right, welcome back, everybody. 420radio.org. You're listening to Toker Talk Radio. We're going to turn you over to video now from our fun time this Saturday night in the Magical Butter Limo. Enjoy. Welcome back. Howdy, everybody. We're back from Minneapolis, and now we're ready to meet the Magical Butter Limo because pimping ain't easy. <laughs> You're damn right. Yeah, I'm right. How you doing, man? It's good to meet you. Amanda. Hi, short and sweet. She's our our newest cannabis chef. So, that's a pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah. We've got lined up for the day. They should be coming here any second. Great, great, great. Great. That's fine. Here's one of them. This is my assistant, uh, Brian. Brian, pleasure to meet you, man. Got the camera ready to rock and roll tonight? Yeah, gotta have a cover, you know, for the 420radio.org. Gotta have a cover. Bag number one. All right, we'll see you guys from inside the limo in a minute. Come on to Magical Butter. Magical Butter Limo in full Absolutely. effect. Absolutely. Count to the yeah. Yeah. So we're happy to have you, man. Welcome. I'm so happy you got Welcome. Us. Oh, yeah. I'm happy this to have you. Here. So, uh, you, I know that you just got off the plane. Do you need a little, uh, you need a medicate? Yes, I do. <laughs> awesome. I can do so, that. So, uh, I think you do the address to my place. <laughs> All right. You do that. We'll medicate. Okay. Yeah, we're up for anything. All right. Do you have another part of our crew if you'd like to pick them up? Yeah, oh, absolutely. We uh, we figured we'd get, you know, the I got some of my crew, out. too. And we got some of our guys that are, you know, waiting back at the studio. Nice. Okay. And if you want to stop in the studio for a second, we can record a quick, you know, little schmil- spiel. Love it. You know, we've got a magic butter machine down there that we got last time at uh, EPA, so. all you. Ooh, here, here, here. Take that and just keep it on me. I will do that. All right, so as you go out this uh, road, look for the uh, northeast 82nd exit. We got, a, we got a cameraman that's coming with us. So you, if you want anything to eat, snacks, whatever you want, man, <laughs> there's... There's all different kinds of munchies and stuff around here, so uh, this is bad ass. There's uh, voodoo donuts in the back here, and uh, you yeah, know, you gotta, you gotta, gotta represent voodoo. voodoo. We have that's right. Voodoo, so. That's right. This this van is tricked out. Short and sweet here, bro. It doesn't smoke. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, she was born on what, 420, so my sorry. birthday's April 20th. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, Very she, nice. She she she's short and sweet. Pseudo partakes. Exactly. Oh, okay. Medibles or anything? No. Not really. No. I haven't yet. One size is good. I haven't yet. <laughs> There's the ceiling. Ah, oh, this is cool. There's Russ. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you in a few. Magic butter limo outside the Buckin' Bronco house. Hey, Magical Butter, Radical Russ here from Rolla J Studios in beautiful Potland, Oregon. We got one of the original Magic Butters, and we've always been big fans of Magical Butter. Uh, you guys do so much for the patients out there, especially people that have, you know, they can't inhale very well, so they got to have medibles. This thing is the bomb. No smell, no must, no fuzz. you got to get one of these things, people. And that's one of the early ones. What are we on, Model 3 now? The third iteration? Man, you guys got to check these guys out. MagicalButter.com. Highly recommended. Of course, I recommend everything highly. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Dab it up. Hit the red button. So you guys want to hit the Cannabis Cafe? Yeah. All right, so here we are once again. There's Left Wing Larry. Hello. There's Radical Rush. Howdy. There's Bacon Tan. <laughs> there's Kevin Kenny. Hi. And there's Art Basher. And there's Brian the Red. And we're inside the Magic Butter Limo. And man, this is badass. <laughs> am, am I right? Okay, 420 fine. Radio, am I right? Very nice, very okay, nice. Pose! Woo! All right. So, we're having a great time. We'll get you some more footage a little bit later from the Wolf Famous Canvas Cafe. Yeah? Maybe? Yeah. All right. Here we are at the Wolf Famous Canvas Cafe. We're 
this. The magic butter people. The magic butter limo. Jeremy and them. Great stuff. Let's head down inside and have a good time. All right, folks, Radical Russ here. We are at the world famous Cannabis Cafe. The Magical Butter Limo is parked over there, and we are taking Magical Butter inside and downstairs. So let's get this party started. <laughs> That's a big stick of butter. <laughs> Cool deal. Well, we, we actually have, where, where's your son at? Uh, he, there he is over Let's there. Let's get both of you guys together. Where's Mr. Butter, too? Let me just go butter machines. And which is really exciting. And, and, you know, we always try to do as best, best we can for the community. So and this is, like, one of the destinations we really want to come to. So the last machine in America is right here. And we would like to give you the last machine. We've been hanging on to it. This is our, and this is definitely our, our, our token of, of goodwill towards Seattle and Portland as well. And we love you guys. We love you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you so very much. Welcome home. So yeah, and if that you need really any sweet. help, we would uh, love to teach you how to use a magic butter Yay. machine. And what we're also going to do is we're also going to send you the newest magic for butter machines when they come out in just a few weeks. And uh, Short and Sweet's also going to send you our new signature uh, Love Glove. Oh, is that love? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. love? Thank you so much for having our crew. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Russ Belleville. All right, we have completed our time at the Cannabis Cafe where mucho alliances were made. Everybody is happy. Magical Butter rocks the place, and uh, I think there was a giveaway. Uh, Madeline and Ralph and Ralph Jr. all there. Everybody's dabbed out. We got boxes of Voodoo Donuts. We got a limousine, and we're on our way to wherever Bacon Dan takes us. Henry's 12th, 12th and Burnside. Uh, right. It's got a nice ring around the bar. It's fucking cool. <laughs> There we go. That sounds Portland. <laughs> and then we'll end up somewhere else, I'm sure. All right, well, we're all in for the ride. 420radio.org. Okay. We've One never two. been here before. The house, so it me off. I gotta let Katie out. Bananas. I gotta take care of the dog. Well, yeah, okay, so somebody's gotta, we gotta move. Uh, and there's donuts. Yeah, that's there's what I want. There, but there's some all right, we'll bring you another update later. Okay. Hey, everybody. Radical Russ, we are here at Henry's on 12th and Burnside. We just uh, pulled the limo up and have decided to drink. So now we are doing hard drugs. But uh, we'll go back to the soft ones, back to the limo. We'll end up somewhere. Probably do the donuts. We'll end up we'll have to restock or something. I'm sure that'll happen. But uh, we're continuing to have a great time with the folks at MagicalButter.com. And uh, we'll tell you more about it uh, as the night continues. Have fun. Take care of each other, tokers. Great time was had by all on our trip 
We ended up at the uh, Ground Control Arcade playing video games all night and uh, just so much fun. Big thanks to Brian, too, for doing all the uh, the filming. I had a good time. It was hilarious. Hey, folks, it's 420 here in the Pacific Time Zone. That deserves a smoke or two. I hope you got some. If you don't, we'll smoke for you. Be right back. Have you ever met that funny repo man? A repo man. Have you ever met that funny repo man? A repo man. If he said he swam to China, he would sell you South Carolina. Then you know you're talking to that repo man. Cannabis Outreach Collective is an alternative health and wellness option located in Gladstone, Oregon that serves patients in the Portland area and beyond. We are a full-service alternative health and wellness collective accommodating patients with natural, organic, holistic, and homeopathic remedies, nutritional guidance, advice, education, and medical cannabis fully in accordance with Oregon OMMP law. You can find out more about Cannabis Outreach Collective on Facebook at COC503 or by emailing Cannabis Outreach Collective 503 at gmail.com or by telephone at 503 853 1319. Check out our menu on Weed Maps and visit Cannabis Outreach Collective today. Adam Hand of Handmade Apparel produces quality custom designs for t-shirts, hats, and other apparel. Handmade Apparel is the official design shop for 420 Radio, The Russ Belville Show, Ganja John, and Cascadia Concentrates, among many clients who rely on Adam Hand for everything from short-run custom projects to full-run clothing lines. Adam's meticulous designs are individually crafted and screened in vibrant high-definition color. Visit handmadeapparel.biz to browse the selection of handmade gear or to get a personal quote for your own designs. Handmade Apparel, a proud supporter of 420radio.org. Four Twenty Radio is twenty-four hour marijuana legalization radio. Check out our morning lineup every weekday at eight a.m. Pacific Time, eleven a.m. Eastern Time. On Monday, it's Drug Truth Network Cultural Baggage with Dean Becker from Houston, Texas. On Tuesdays, Drug Policy Facts with Doug McVeigh from Portland, Oregon. On Wednesdays, Professionals Against Prohibition with Jen Jackson from Raleigh, North Carolina. On Thursdays, Cannabis Network Radio with David Kowalski from Tampa, Florida. And on Fridays, Canna Truths with Denton Ramsey from Waco, Texas. That's 8 a.m. Pacific Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and 4 p.m. GMT right here on 420radio.org. Hey now, friends. Grateful Dread here in Summit, New Jersey, the home of member-supported Grateful Dread Public Radio. We're a progressive music and news talk station committed to making a better world. GDPR broadcasts via the Internet 24 hours a day. Find us at gdreadradio.net. Tune in, turn on, and join us. For today's Irie Wednesday Toker Tune on Normal Show Live, we're traveling La Calle Mexicana. We have a great track from a veteran Tex-Mex outfit, Los Rieleros del Norte. The band is known for making traditional north of the border. Well, there's an old track I didn't uh, remove from the library. Find find that. (laughs) I just found it. Goodbye track. <laughs> That's from our old normal show live days, obviously. But uh, yeah. welcome back. It's Toker Talk Radio. It's a little nostalgia. You yeah, know, I guess. Guess. <laughs> Toker Talk Radio here on 420radio.org. Thanks for joining us. And I got to apologize because, you know, I, well, first of all, before I get to that, let me make a quick announcement. Uh, our good friend, Lively Libra, 
uh, Lisa Calvin, uh, from Iowa originally, now in Denver, sent me word to take uh, the Libra Lounge off the lineup. Uh, don't worry, there's no drama or anything like that, at least not between Libra and I. Uh, we're all cool. We're tight. It's all great. Uh, she's just not just not producing the show anymore, so you know, no reason to have it up in the lineup. So it's removed. Wanted to make sure I announced that so people didn't say, hey, where'd Libra Lounge go? Is there? And you know how the, the movement is. Yeah, oh, uh, is there some drama? <laughs> yeah, re- but replays are still up on uh, their the youtube page right or i guess i don't i don't know what youtube page she's had okay but you know they yeah you'll still be able to find archives and such like that i'm sure uh so just want to make sure people knew that that there was no drama everything's cool uh okay so the other thing the apology Uh, you know all this first hour and this show i've been promoting the prohibition tour uh the museum exhibit Mm -hmm. i'm not showing that till tomorrow (laughs) i I have the wrong video (laughs) queued up or at least i I was because I was editing that last, so it was still on my brain. Uh, I already pre-edited this one to show, and it's the uh, 420 Radio Drug Test Game Show. Oh, that's right. That's the new name for it, by the way. Because every time I call it 420 Radio Drug Test, people go, "Oh, I don't want to uh, take, a drug, take test. a drug test, man." So it's the 420 cool Radio Drug Test Game Show trademark, drug and uh, game show. we played this at uh, Minnesota Normals. Uh, headquarters in Minneapolis on a fluke. I mean, uh, we were there Friday night having dinner and we started talking about it and Randy just sent an email out from his cell phone to the 3,500 people on their mailing list. We got 1% of them to show up. We got we got 36 people <laughs> showed up to uh, to see myself and Neil Franklin from Law Enforcement Against Prohibition who was there. So I'm going to show you uh, Neil's speech from Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, uh, where he was very kind to uh, 420 Radio, and uh, a bit of the 420 Radio drug test game show in Minneapolis. So enjoy. We're very Law enforcement against prohibition and a really great guy, Neil Franklin. Tell us just a little bit. How's everybody doing? Good, good, good. Glad you're here. Uh, another cold uh, morning here in uh, Minnesota. Really, I mean, it's going to break my heart to have to go back home and miss all this, but uh, I, I think I'll get over it rather quickly. But anyway, thanks for coming out this morning. Uh, to, to, I mean, this is a great show. I listen to Rapper and Russ and his show every once in a while, and uh, he's, he's always just. Uh, I, I was talking to him the other night about, you know, you have entertainment, which obviously is a good thing. We love to be entertained. And then on the other side, you know, you have. Uh, information good information and you know we have people who do entertainment we have people who present information you know so you can learn and you know and uh, uh, be successful with the information that you get when you combine the two it's a special time you know it's a very special thing to have somebody like Russ who can do that who has that skill set you know of entertaining and giving you good information this is good information that you guys are getting here. Um, I just learned some things while I was sitting in the back, too. Uh, and I wish I had the, the, the ability to remember a lot of the things. One of the things that I do want to mention regarding that, the information that you're getting from Russ, is to really take it and tuck it away and use these talking points that he's giving you. As you begin to work on this issue here in, in Minnesota, you're going to need this. You're going to need this to dispel the bad information that's being put out there. Uh, he, Kevin Sabet, which he showed you the videos of, uh, his sidekick, uh, Kennedy. I mean, and there are others. Still, there are others. You know, when you interact with law enforcement, you know, when somebody says something to you about something they heard from law enforcement, and then you have to be able to say, well, no, that's not true. This is the truth and to be able to send them to places and guide them to places where they can get the truth. It's so important. And um, so after you're done here with with Russ, you need to continue that journey. Then in that learning process. I've been doing this for a number of years now. Um, I started with LEAP back in 2008, officially speaking for them. 
And so yeah, that's, that's been a few years. I've been a director for three and a half years now. And I'm still learning. Every single day, I'm still learning new, good, fact-based information and good data. And you know, that's the journey that many of you have already been on and you're gonna to have to stay on it. For the newcomers, you know, it's, it's a journey that's not gonna end for you until we completely end the prohibition of marijuana, okay? And then we, we, we still have to be diligent that uh, it, it doesn't return because it used to be legal once before, okay? So I'm not gonna be long, I just wanted to make that point, the importance of information and using that information properly. And again, um, as I mentioned the other night at the museum, the other important thing is collaborating with that information and working together uh, as you deal with this issue and, and move this issue. So um, that's really all I wanna say. And with Randy, what he's doing here, I mean, this is amazing. If we, if we had a Randy in every state,
You need to give me a ride over here today, and I remarked to him it was a lot better being in the back of this car now than 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more for this team on the on this side. Two more for the front team. All right. All right, so the team on this side here, you guys, are going to be Team Indica. Yeah. And then you three guys are Team Sativa. Yeah. All right, so who's got a coin? You can flip a coin after that coin. The coin flip. The coin flip. An alcoholic and alcoholic is a team. So you guys get to go first. You're, fir you're first. Okay. Okay. So grab that mic. Let's pull it out the stand here. We'll be passing it back and forth. All right. Let me shuffle the. Uh, we gotta shuffle the categories. And by the way, this is all written in Excel. It's on my website, 420radio.org. In the shop, you can download it for yourself and run it. And you can change the questions. You can. It doesn't have to be me. You can take out all the questions. All right, so our categories are going to start with news nubs. These will be questions having to do with marijuana in the news. Pot and politics, which is what you think it is. Herbal health, some of the medical aspects of marijuana. Sativa celebrities, people who are cannabis community celebrities, so, so to speak. Toker terms, some of the slang that we use in marijuana. And cannabis culture, just some of the aspects of our culture. And you get to pick a weight and a category. How are they pick uh, toker terms? With a uh, quarter. Toper terms for a quarter. The OG in various strain names like OG Kush stands for A, original gangster, B, ocean grown, C, organically grown. A, final answer. A, final answer? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's B, ocean grown, which I don't know either. Yes, OG Kush is ocean grown. So uh, let's see, the team on the board was Indica, and you guys missed the quarter, so that means. The man gets it. Yeah, that's the team. Here we go. Oh, so you, oh, yeah, right. The man still gets it. So the man's got quarter ounce. So team and Indica, you've got a zero at the moment, and we passed to the team because uh, you missed the question. So go ahead, pick your amount and category. Killer music, Bob. Huh? Cannabis culture for a half, please. All right, cannabis culture for a half. There we go. Cannabis goes for half. Place these four marijuana reform organizations in order of their creation. Marijuana Policy Project, National Cannabis Industry Association, Normal, and Americans for Safe Access. This is where I need that Jeffrey music. Is this just me or us? Just you. Unless you want to use a live one. C-A-B-D. C-A-B-D. Ooh, C-A-D-B. Americans for Safe Access came before NCIA. That's more for the man, unfortunately. All right, so next team. I'm going to have trouble at the airport. This side, this side. Next team member. All right. Go ahead and pick. Um, I'm going with um, two ounces for. Sativa celebrities. Two ounces of Sativa celebrities. There is evidence to prove at least five U.S. presidents before Bill Clinton have smoked cash or marijuana. Name one of them. Before Bill Clinton. Uh, Grover Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, well, I'm not Clay, am I? I think I'm going to have to use a uh, lifeline. Um, okay. You've got ask me on both. Go back. Oh, there we go. Ask the audience, team answer, and stump the chumps that you can use. What's stump the chumps? Would mean the three of them get a chance to answer. If they miss it, you get points. Okay, um, let's go with. Ask the audience. All right, ask the audience. Audience, can you name a president who, after Bill Clinton, smoked marijuana? Just a shout out. Before. 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 Before.
wrote that. Yeah. James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, Zachary Taylor, Franklin Pierce all wrote about when they were in the military how they smoked uh, marijuana during the Mexican War, and John F. Kennedy used it for back then. The man is doing quite well. I just want to ask Jesus for two ounces. All right. Maybe try some swag or some <laughs> I'm going to do pot and politics swag. Pot and politics for swag. True or false? The draft versions of the Constitution and Declaration of Independence were written on hemp paper. True. That is true. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the, the, the uh, archived ones are in parchment paper, but hemp was written, you know, for the draft. So when people say, you know, was the Constitution written on hemp paper, no, the drafts were, but not the actual Constitution. All right, so you got Team Indica now has an eighth. Yeah. And we have control of the board. Let me uh, go for a uh, poker terms. I'll take an eighth. Two terms for an eighth. True or false? The scent and flavors of various marijuana strains is primarily determined by the terpene content. False. Oh, that's true. Terpenes and terpenoids are the primary constituents of the essential oils of many types of marijuana plants and flowers. So that, unfortunately, took returns for an eighth goes to the man. <laughs> He's been <laughs> Substances Act, which means half for a Why don't we go with uh, cannabis culture for uh, just an eighth, please? All right, cannabis culture for an eighth. Which population is greater, people in Texas or voting age adults who smoked pot last year? Voting age adults who smoked pot last year. That is correct. <laughs> There we go. All right. 
Can I get a uh, rebel house for a quad? Yeah. <laughs> a, a quarter pound or a quarter ounce? <laughs> quarter ounce. Quarter ounce. Quad. See, in the West Coast, a quad is a quarter pound. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that day's coming. That day's coming. All right. Yeah. According to the U.S. federal government, which of the following is not a medicine? Cocaine, meth, or marijuana? Me. C. Oh. Marijuana is in Schedule 1, meth and cocaine are in Schedule 2. They are prescribable. <laughs> so that one goes. Herbal health for a quarter goes to the man. All right. I'm going to go with Tucker terms for swag, please. Tucker terms for swag. <laughs> true or false? The Harry Potter term muggles is an early 20th century slang term for marijuana. That's totally true. That is true. <laughs> Yeah, Muggles, uh, Cat Calway, Louis Armstrong. In fact, on Monday nights at 10 p.m. Central, I do a show called uh, The New Viper Hour, and it's all about that old 20th century reefer jazz, Cat Calway stuff. Great stuff. All right, so that was Team Sativa, who got a toe return for swag. All right, Team Sativa's on board. Let's go with uh, News Nugs for a uh, quarter. News Nugs for a quarter. Which of these states has the highest recreational marijuana tax rates? California, Colorado, or Washington? And you have lifelines if you want to use them. I'm going. Washington. That is correct. Washington taxes 25% at grower, wholesale, retail, and sales taxes. All right, so that was Team Sativa for a quarter in News Nuts. All right, you're up to three eighths of an ounce. Your turn. Let's try potting politics for a quarter. Potting politics for a quarter. Which of these states has the lowest threshold for a marijuana possession felony? The lowest amount of weed that gets you a felony? Florida, Oklahoma, or Idaho? I say Oklahoma. Good guess, but it's Florida. 20 grams is a felony in Florida, three quarters of an ounce. And you lose your right to vote for life if you get a felony in Florida. Because of this, 8% of all voting age adults in the state of Florida are ineligible to vote. 19.8% of African Americans of voting age are ineligible to vote in Florida. If those people had been eligible, eligible to vote, we would have had a President Gore. All right, so that was a hot politics quarter. Went to the <laughs> All right, back to Team City. Uh, Indica. Uh, we would like to go with hot and politics for an eighth, please, Russ. Hot politics for an eighth. True or false? Any citizen of the United States can start a petition to get a marijuana legalization initiative in his or her state's ballot. True. False. That's false. Less than half the states yep. in America have direct citizen yep. ballot petitions. Sorry about this. Sorry about that. I'll give that one to the man. Okay. Your turn. Go ahead. I'm going to go with News Nugs for Swag again. News Nugs for Swag. Oh, wait I must have gotten that backwards. You guys must have gotten the Swag one before, and I just hit the wrong one. All right, so let's fix that. All right, News Nugs for the other one. Which got more votes in Colorado's 2012 election? President Barack Obama or legalizing marijuana? 64. 64 got more votes by about 50,000 votes more than Barack Obama. All right, that's for Team Sativa. Let's keep it in uh, News Nugs for a uh, half. News Nugs for a half. Which of these is the marijuana website with the most traffic? Hightimes.com, normal.org, marijuana.com, or the weedblog.com? Let's say high times. Close. Uh, the weed blog actually has more hits. That I write for the weed blog, so that's self promotion. <laughs> uh, so we have to give that one to the man. The man is cleaning up today. All right, Team Indica. Let's do cannabis culture for an eighth. Cannabis culture for an eighth. Oops, I must have done the same thing I did on the other one. All right, so let's switch that out. Put the indica there. Give you that one. Okay. True or false? 420 comes from the California Highway Patrol Code for a marijuana arrest in progress. Uh, I'm going to say false. 
False. 420 evolved from a group of students in San Rafael called the Waldos, who met after extracurriculars near a statue to smoke pot at 420. <laughs> so that would be swag for Team Indica. And you have the word. Sativa selects for eight. Sativa selects for eight. Which one is older, Cheech or Chong? Mm. Cheech. Chong. <laughs> Chong. Uh, yeah, Tommy Chong is only one year younger than marijuana prohibition. Wow. And so we have to give that one to the man, and that was an eighth, was it? Okay. Come on now. Too many clicks. Let's try that again. All right, go ahead. Go toker terms for a half. Toker terms for a half. Which, what was the first drug consumed in the lyrics of the Stoop Dog and Dr. Dre hit song, Gin and Juice? A, a fat ass J of bubonic chronic, B, Seagram's Gin, C, a gang of Tangeray, or D, an ounce of Endo? And I love ask, asking this question because everybody else goes, <laughs> Is it Seagram's Gin? Seagram's Gin? An ounce of Indo. We're going to smoke an ounce to this. G's up, pose down, while you pump an ounce to this. Got me some Seagram's Gin. There you go. So yeah, the first one was an ounce of Indo. All right, so that's a half ounce in toker terms. That went to the man. Your turn. Uh, we'd like to step up to the OZ level. Canvas culture, please. Canvas culture for an ounce. This man successfully sees the federal government use marijuana for medical purposes, arguing that without it, he'd go blind from glaucoma. Maybe they might have some green cigarettes. And you have lifelines if you wish to use them. Team answer? I don't know who we're thinking that we're going to stump the chops. Stump the chops. Stump the chops. You guys have to ask answer. Now all three of you can, can ask why you go together. Yeah, once, you can't use a, yeah, you can't use a, a lifeline on lifeline. Yeah? Nothing? Yes. All right, it was Robert Randall, the first federal medical marijuana patient. And when he won his medical necessity suit, that uh, created the Compassionate yeah. Investigating Drug Program. It doesn't supply for four patients anymore. There's just two now that are using it. The other two got off the program. Uh, LB Music in Oregon, a friend of mine who I know, and Herb Rosenfeld in Florida. So that stuff, the chops, means Team Indica gets an ounce yes. in Canada's culture. Wow. All right. Sativa selects for an ounce. This daily pot smoker was a genius. He was literally a rocket scientist and was tasked with creating a message in a bottle for the Voyager spacecraft to tell alien civilizations about the human race and Earth. Name him. Uh, can I use the lifeline? Sure. You've got, uh, ask the audience. Team answer. What's that? The team answer. Team answer? Okay. Team answer? Go ahead. This is a loner chair. Okay. I think we have like a box with me. Carl Sagan? That is correct. Carl Sagan. Yes. Carl Sagan, the PMS yes. tank, the Cottonwoods, yes. 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 the first books, he organized the Mesa Dome Model Project for the Voyager Space Program. Because when you want to talk to aliens, you've got some box smokers. Yeah. 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 So, Tina Slugs, for now, that goes to Team Indica. Yeah. Uh, and you still have the other one. The other way, right? Can I get a for an ounce? How many grams are there in an ounce? 28. That is correct, 28. But it is 28.3495. 28. <laughs> 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 Oh, Canvas culture. culture for a QP. <laughs> Name the West Coast Marijuana Legalization Organization that funded itself through the sales of rolling yeah, papers before merging with normal. 
four thirty today. Today, okay, I stay real close to the airport on the light rail. Thirty second Hiawatha. our coverage of the uh, Minnesota Normal event that just took place this last Saturday. Great folks from Minnesota Normal taking place in the 420 Radio Drug Test Game Show. That is available for download. It uh, plays in Excel and it's available for download and fully customizable. You can get it at the 420 Radio Shop. Just go to 420radio.org slash shop and you can get it today. Look in the download section. It's there. 420 Radio Drug Test Game Show. Hope you enjoyed that. I sure had fun. Thanks to Minnesota Normal for doing some play testing for us, helping us figure out what works and what doesn't. We'll continue to make refinements on that. On tomorrow's show, we'll have John Walker from Fire Dog Lake. Just say now with after legalization, understanding the future of marijuana policy. And in hour two, we'll show you our tour of Daniel Okrant's American Spirits. The Rise and Fall of Prohibition, a uh, traveling museum exhibit that was at the Minnesota History Museum. But for now, that's all the time we got. Stay tuned. Stony Sundays is next. And for Brian the Red, I'm Radical Russ. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, take care of each other, tokers. 
This is the Russ Belleville Show. The Russ Belleville Show is blogging and podcasting daily at RadicalRuss.com. And join us later tonight, 8 p.m. Pacific time, for a new edition of the new Viper Hour, the best in reefer jazz.